before we get into the news, make sure to subscribe to my first and second channels and hit the notification bell to stay notified of future uploads. And follow my Instagram to get notified more frequently of MMA news before it is posted on my YouTube channel, and feel free to follow my Facebook and Twitter as well. During an interview in his home country, Russia, Khabib Nurmagomedov comments on Conor McGregor's rematch. Nurmagomedov states, I'm not ready to shake McGregor's hand right now, Nurmagomedov said. I'm not. You know everyone makes mistakes. There are no perfect people, everyone has flaws. I have flaws and so does he, everyone has flaws. When a person continues to behave this way, it means that it's in his nature. We saw that he recently hit a 70-year-old man. It shows a lack of morality and manners. His overall level. So I'm not ready to shake his hand unless he realizes something. Apologies always have to be accepted no matter what he said, Nurmagomedov said. If a person apologizes and accepts his mistakes, we have to excuse them. Nurmagomedov then comments on Tony Ferguson's possible match. I have to say that Tony Ferguson deserves it more. You have to give him some credit. He has won a 12-fight win stake and deserves it in more than Connor, Nurmagomedov said. Connor has to come back, stop hitting old people. He is a professional fighter. He should come back, win, earn his place and get in line. Next, Joanna Yendrachik sends message to Colby Covington during an interview with James Lynch of The Score. You shouldn't shit in your gym, Yendrachik said. What Covington has done, it's like pretty shady, you know. I really do not respect that. Dot dot dot. I really don't like it because we are all teammates. It was really not nice because even if I really like Khabib, I need to and I want to stick to my people and support him, Yendrachik continued. I saw how hard Dustin Poirier was training before the fight. The gym is very big. Dot dot dot. We all are different from different cultures, different countries. We all behave differently. We all have different sense of humor. But the thing is you should support your teammates. It doesn't matter if you like them or not. We represent one team, we represent the same colors, so we should support each other as much as we can. Joanna Yendrachik has issues with Covington because of him not supporting Dustin Poirier at UFC 242. Next Ben Askren praises Israel Adesanya via Twitter, I am very critical, but some of you people are missing the boat. That style bender is a fucking superstar. Charismatic, unique, speaks well and can fight. Next John Jones gives thoughts on Adesanya via Twitter. Israel Adesanya keep convincing yourself that one day you'll be ready to face a boss like me. I'll keep convincing myself that when that day comes, I will make you my absolute bitch. John Jones wrote. You said you saw me fight in person against Tiago and I didn't look the same. I also got to see you fight KG, didn't need to be in person. You were almost knocked out on more than one occasion. John would go on to say, by the time this kid gets his confidence together he'll probably already be in the heavyweight division. I don't need to wait till 2021 to start believing in myself. Last, Joe Rogan on Robert Whitaker after loss via Instagram. This is a masterclass in humility and composure, Rogan wrote on Instagram. Robert Whitaker put it all on the line and came up short, but his response to the loss shows what kind of a man he is. Still absolutely one of the best fighters on earth, and handled the loss as well as anyone ever has. Respect. Thanks for watching, make sure to leave a comment below of what you thought of the video, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified for more.